Hi, I'm Keith Bledsoe, and I'm the owner here at Smoky Mountain Traders. I personally go out and buy the best cars on the market for you, our customer. Please give us a call with any questions you may have. Hey everybody, it's Devin with Smoky Mountain Traders. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be taking a close look at this 1966 Chevy Corvette Resto Mod. This car has had a beautiful rotisserie restoration done on it. Now if you've got any questions on this car, you can give us a call at 865-988-8088 or you can send us an email to sales at smtclassics.com. Now I'm going to take you around the outside, on the inside and under the hood of this Corvette. Then we'll get it on a lift and out on the highway for you as well. As you look across the front, you'll notice these front bumpers have been replaced and it'll give you the opportunity to look down the side so that way you can see the body lines flow beautifully here from the front to the rear. As we come on around the driver's side, you'll see that these gaps are even and symmetrical here at the doors. Now you'll also notice this car does have the side pipes and you can see that that color combination there ties in perfectly to the wheels, which we'll get to here in a minute. Before we go on around though, I want you to come on up and we'll take a look on the inside. As you can see, this saddle color interior is an absolutely beautiful complement to the exterior color scheme. As we look across the dash, you'll see that the gauges have been updated and that it does have the tilt wheel as well. Now this car does have the long shifter for the five speed and it also has vintage AC. Now as we come on around, you can take a close look at the seat covers and the door panels. You'll notice that they all appear to have been replaced whenever this restoration was done and are in like new condition also. Now that we've been on the inside, we'll continue on around the outside to we'll give you opportunity to see how great that door shuts and fits. Now as we come across the back, you'll notice that the rear bumpers have been replaced. It'll also give you the opportunity to take a look down the sides and you can see that this paint job is slick as a ribbon. As we come on around the passenger side, I'm going to go ahead and take a step back. That way you can get a real appreciation for the stance on this Corvette. Now as you can see, we've got a custom set of 18 inch and 20 inch billet specialty wheels that are set up with the Diamondback Redline tires. Now one of the things that I haven't even touched on yet that is one of my favorite options on this Corvette is the Stinger hood and they've done a great job of two-toning it to really give this car a one-off look. Now the outside of this Corvette's absolutely stunning, but if you want to come on up, we'll lift the hood and we'll take a look at the drive line as well. You'll notice that she's got a lot to offer. She does have the LS style fuel injected engine. You also see that she does have the four wheel power disc brakes and the vintage AC that I alluded to earlier. Now to keep it cool, it's got the aluminum radiator with the electric fan. Now that we've been around the outside, on the inside and under the hood of this Corvette, I'll get it pulled around there and we'll get it on the lift so that way we can take a close look at the bottom. Remember, if you've got any questions, you can give us a call at 865-988-8088 or you can send us an email to sales at smtclassics.com. Now let's get this Corvette around there so that way you can take a close look at the bottom and then we'll get it out on the highway as well. Now that we have this Corvette on the rack, we can take a closer look at the foundation of this awesome resto mod. As you can see, this car has had a beautiful frame off rotisserie restoration and it has been detailed to the max. You'll notice that the brakes have been upgraded and you have Corvette Z06 calipers here on the front. You can also see that this LS1 engine is mated to the Richmond 5-speed trans. And for exhaust, it has headers and the iconic side pipes. Out back, you can see that the fuel tank and the lines have been replaced. And you'll also notice that the shark bike coolovers are there on the rear, and that goes along with the front, which has front coolovers and tubular control arms. Before we get this vet on the highway, I want us to take another close look at this frame and floors. Thanks for visiting us at SmokyMountainTraders.com. If you're ever in East Tennessee, stop by and check us out.